Last month, a teacher was injured in an incident with a student at Dilworth Middle School, and most of the school staff called in sick the next day. Now, when that happened, our Francis Casado sat down with the teacher at the school who said violence against staff is an issue. Tonight, the mother of that student saying her son is accused of something he didn't do. On December 15th, a school police were called to Dilworth Middle School after an altercation that resulted in an injury for a staff member. On my voicemail, uh, the principal there is uh, saying that an incident happened with my son. Staff later revealing such altercation involved a teacher being tossed into a locker. Hitting anyone or staff or even a female, it, you know, it, 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 he just doesn't do. Jennifer Nolan is the mother of that student. Her son denies putting his hands on the educator, and while she admits he has behavioral issues, Nolan believes him. Because this is the third incident now, and the prior ones, they suspended him. And then he tells me that uh, he had no involvement in it. So my son gets in trouble, you know, and I'm calling him more or less a liar, and he's like, I'm telling the truth, Mom, I'm telling the truth. And wind up being he does tell the truth. Feeling bad for now believing the seventh grader when he has been right, she's backing him up. She was in the door uh, uh, and she was checking our uniform out. I was like, I'm not waiting in this long line. In a meeting with the school principal, the assistant and the behavioral superintendent, the student said he was trying to get to his class through an unsecured door. And she grabbed onto another student and she she tried to grab onto me and I was like, no, so I I did a juke on her, and uh, she stepped on my foot, lost her balance, and smacked into the locker. During the hearing, the system principal admits not being able to see the minor touch the staff member on the surveillance video. You see him in front of her, and the next thing you know is you see him on the side and behind her. However, she goes on to explain police have better options when it comes to examining evidence. The reports from the other adults and students uh, do say that he grabbed her arm. Mm -mm. Um, I can't say that one way or the other. According to Nolan, her son has been suspended and is supposed to be going to another institution. They put it as to he's like guilty as if he did it. And it's and with none of them seeing the video, like I don't see how they can sit there and keep blaming or, you know, making these accusations on a child. When asked why the school will single her son out, Nolan said she doesn't know, but that the accusations are false. The minor is being charged with battery on a protected person. In Reno, Francis Casado, Colo 8 News Now. And the family is now seeking legal representation. We reached out to the Washoe County School District for comment and to ask if school leaders stand behind the punishment. We were told they could not comment on disciplinary action because of the Federal Educational Rights and Privacy Act. We also tried to get the police report, video surveillance, and statements through a public record request, but we were denied because the records contain information from the juvenile justice system.